Nobody in my family ever had a heart attack. If anything, I thought I'd get hit by a bus, but not a heart. All of a sudden, it's like a, an earthquake going off in your body. My doctor put me on an aspirin regimen to help protect my life. Aspirin is not appropriate for everyone, so be sure to talk to your doctor before you begin an aspirin regimen. To my friends, I say, you know, check with your doctor because it can happen to anybody. Be ready if a heart attack strikes. Donate $5 to Women Heart at IamProHeart.com and we'll send you this bare aspirin pill tote. Live news conference in Panama City, Florida. This is Bill Hussfeldt. We just talked to him a short while ago. The superintendent, who along with board members, was taken hostage last night, had shots fired at him. Let's listen in. Before he finally turns around, and Mike, I'm telling you, Mike saved our lives. Now, it doesn't get any more real than that, and you don't have to believe that or whatever, but we were in there, and I'm telling you that that gentleman was not going to stop shooting. He only turned around after he'd been hit twice by Mike, and Mike and him got into the, the, the shooting barrage, and, and that's, that's what saved our lives because he was getting He had more ammunition, and he was going to keep going. Uh, Where was Mike when the shots first started? I think he was in his office or he was in the building somewhere. When he started spray painting, I think that Dr. Haley went to go get uh, Mike because the guy started spray painting. I thought to be, and I'm not making light of this, but I thought, man, he really hates technology because we had just voted on a thing about technology and we were having getting ready to do a, a technology presentation and I thought man he doesn't want us to spend any money on tech I didn't know what the V stood for I didn't know what was going on and and then when he turned the gun around with the gun it was totally different now How's Mr. He's, he's good. I went and visited him with him in the hospital last night, and his family was all there. He's in very good spirits. Uh, they were going to keep him overnight for observation, but he was going to be released today, and I'll be surprised if we don't see him sometime today. I want to talk to some of the newest school board members, you know, Mr. Moss and Mr. Walker. Hey, hey, what, one of you guys, tell us what was going through your head at your, one of your first official meetings. Um, welcome to the school board, I should say. But what was going through your head? Well, uh, I just, you felt helpless. He was helpless out there. When he pulled the gun out and he told everybody to get out except for all the men's school board members, uh, he had the gun and we felt helpless. And uh, I, I want to comment, Mr. Husfeld did a tremendous job talking to the gentleman because he seemed like he was upset. And uh, Mr. Husfeld, he talked to him, tried to talk to him, tried to reason with him, tried to get him to put the gun down. Uh, we was back there just helpless and sitting back there thinking, how can we get the gun out of this man's hand before he shoots somebody and kills somebody, kills us all. And uh, that's what, what we was thinking. And it, it went through our minds, you know, and it's, it's a lot of things go through your minds when a person holds a gun on you. First time anybody's ever held a gun on me, and a lot of things went through my mind. But Mr. Huss felt he was out there and he tried to reason with the guy, and I tell you something else he did too. It, 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 he, he was... Uh, trying to protect everybody in this building, his whole, the faculty, he's trying to get them out of the room and when they try to come back in, tell them to go back out. In fact, he even tried to negotiate to, with the guy, he said, let the board members go. And if you got something with me, he said, just let me stay in here. So, uh, you know, I just, uh, 